If you come to see the museum and you come onto the front driveway, this is what you're going to find. This is a meter mail box. Uh, the idea here is that the drawer pulls down and you can put a pouch of franked meter mail in it. A bit like an old night safe and it will then drop in and be, be secured until the postie comes to empty it. It's one of uh, five boxes at, uh, in a row out the front here, which I wanted to show you. Next to it is one of our rarest boxes. This is the Edward VIII A size box. Uh, and you, if you've been watching these other videos, you can see that it's actually considerably fatter. And in this case, more squat because it's missing some of the base than some of the other pillar boxes in the collection. And it does have this fantastic Edward VIII cipher on the bottom. Look at that. This box was one of a pair made in 1937 for, sorry, 1936, for uh, Dolphin Square in London, an Art Deco apartment complex, which was very heavily promoted. And it got two brand new Edward VIII pillar boxes. Obviously, after the abdication in 1937, it was a bit of an embarrassment, and these two boxes were moved. One of them eventually found its way to Bewley, and because Lord Montague, who died fairly recently, was a big collector of Edward VIII's memorabilia. The other one, was, which is this one, was ro relocated to Roehampton Way in Kingston, and when the Kingston Bypass was widened in the 1980s, this box was taken out of service and languished in the yard at Battersea, uh, where a gentleman who'd asked for a post box, could he buy one from the post office, was offered this one. And it then moved to his garden in High Wycombe. When he retired, he moved up to Bourne in Lincolnshire and the box went with him. And that's where we found it. Um, following his death, it ended up in a local auction in Bourne in Lincolnshire and we were able to acquire it. So it's had quite a chequered history. Next to it is another rare box and also something a little bit different. So this is the Type F box. Is that right? Type F? No, it's not Type F. It's Type D, I think. Post office types get a bit confusing after a while, but basically it's a post box with a built-in stamp vending machine at one end. Rather than having it bolted on, it's actually built in. This was another 1930s development. You can see the the actual posting aperture is at the other end. Um, made by Derby Castings in 1932, only 50 of these were made. And then he decided it, it was too expensive and it was much easier to just put a stamp vending machine on the side of a standard box like this George VI one here, which is next to it. Um, that's a fairly standard George VI, nothing special about that, apart from it used to be at Whitehorse Avenue in Halstead and it got blown up by a firework so we had to have it all welded back together. I said there was a fifth box out here and it's not actually mine it's over here it's on loan from the letterbox study group and as you can see with the Chinese writing it's from Hong Kong. There we are it's from Sun Wan Circuit in Hong Kong it's a locally made George V pillar and you can also see that the Hong Kong George cipher is completely different to the British one. Uh, the LBSG owns three boxes. I've got one here, there's another one on the Isle of Wight, and there's one in the Oakham Treasures collection, all on loan. And then finally, for the big pillars out the front, and the one you're most likely to see if you drive past, would be in front of the house, the blue one. So that's what you're looking for. If you want to come and see us, look for the blue post box. It's a um, fairly standard Elizabeth II box. It was originally painted Guernsey blue. Uh, it has still got a very faded Guernsey plate on it, but uh, the blue as well as the plate have both faded and could really do with a bit of a repaint.